afternoon, evening, night time, I don't care. This is Brian with Fossil Creek Outdoors. How are y'all doing today? <coughs> I'm here today to talk to y'all about guns, gun cleaning, and if y'all carry a pistol, ladies and gentlemen, if y'all carry a pistol, you're a full-size mine. This is a Ruger P94. This also is a Ruger P94. Okay, this is a 40. This is the nine. This is an SR40 compact concealed carry. This is a full size Taurus P92F. It's also a Beretta. This Beretta 92FS. And the, and the uh, P90s, the P92s. Uh, are the same gun. The Beretta and Taurus. Taurus bought Beretta's factory out. Their tooling, their dies are all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> this is a brand new Kimber. Micro 9 millimeter. It's on that 1911 frame. I won this gun in a uh, gun raffle. It's brand new. Still got the tag on it. I ain't ever shot it. <coughs> My concealed carry gun. Hold on, let me go get it. <clears throat> Y'all heard the bullet fall out. Open, show clear. I always do the pinky test. <sighs> Open and show clear. What I'm here to talk to y'all about <clears throat> is I carry this pistol. This is a Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 9mm. I also carry this SR40 compact. Uh, I normally carry the 40 but this is my go-to little carry gun. I can stick it into my back pocket and you can't see it. <clears throat> it's slim design. <coughs> <coughs> no Romo. I don't have the chroma. I just got a cough. <clears throat> strange track there man. anyway <coughs> mm. what I'm trying to tell y'all is if you carry these guns carry them in your truck your glove box your console on your side in your purse uh, you mean to clean these guns, y'all. A speck of dirt, lint, a piece of string, lint, a speck of sand will cause this gun to mal malfunction. I don't care if it's a Glock, Smith & Wesson, Ruger, Taurus, Beretta, Kimber. 
Rossi, it don't make a dang. A Beretta, it does not make an, an end. These automatics, <clears throat> you will have a malfunction if you do not clean and properly clean and properly oil your, your firearms. Uh, I carry this pistol, it needs to be clean. I just got through cleaning this one a while ago. My SR40. It's all nice and lubed and clean and lubed up. <clears throat> if you do not, it might not happen to you at the first time, but I'm gonna let y'all in a little scenario. I used to carry this gun all the time until I bought this mine. Okay? <clears throat> and I have it in a little sticky holster. It's a flat holster. I also carry one on this one. <clears throat> My mine. My body sweats. Okay? Everybody sweats. Well, I guess everybody does. It will sweat moisture that's not an oil will hurt your guns. Lint from your shirt, your pocket, it will make your gun manufacture. <clears throat> Malfunction. This stuff here, I kept it just to warn y'all people on this video. I do not, and I repeat, do not recommend this product. This product will gum your actions up. Do not use this cleaner. If you do use this bar cleaner, make sure that you run another cleaner in it Follow the directions. I did. I followed the directions. <coughs> I'm going to hold it up there for y'all again so y'all can see and y'all can read. <coughs> I was in a situation at my dear lease. And, uh, I, uh, shot an animal and I carry these pistols with me when I'm deer hunting too and uh, shot an animal and didn't kill it right away it was a bad shot uh, I hurried up my shot the deer was on a slight run a slight trot off I shot the deer I made a bad shot <clears throat> which I got so I didn't know I made the bad shot until I got down to the deer and the deer was still alive. I just paralyzed him. That's all I did. Shot him in the spine. Shot him too high. <clears throat> Grabbed my go-to pistol. <clears throat> After using that product I just told you about, the gun always has a round in it. Took it off safety. Walked up to the animal, the deer. Pull the trigger, click. Never have it done before. Never in my lifetime is this pistol, and I've had this pistol for a long time, since it was brand new. <coughs> 10 years. Never failed me before. Uh, I don't shoot my guns a whole lot, so I know. I clean them, so I know. Uh, I had just bought that product, did exactly what the product said on the bottle, on the can. Uh, complete bore cleaning and cleaning. Okay. Wiped everything down like the thing says it's do, oiled it up. 
load it up, stick it in my side and my holster. <coughs> it malfunctioned. What happened is that stuff that I just showed you got up inside this firing pin right here. Firing pin's in this little hole with a hammer, so the hammerless gun. <clears throat> got into the slide up in here and gummed up the springs inside of it and gummed up the firing pin spring. So therefore, when I went to shoot this gun, it didn't do that. It just went I know y'all can hear that. It didn't do that. I said, well, I didn't have it loaded. Me, I know better, because I know my guns and I know I have it loaded. So I ejected it. Shell came out. Primer wasn't even marked. No marks on the primer. Ejected in another round in it. I said, man, that thing don't feel right, you know. It's, you know, my guns are, it won't slide back. What's wrong with it? I just cleaned this thing. I just oiled it. What's wrong? <clears throat> so, injected another round in it, pointed at, click, nothing happened. Ejected the round out. I was upset, y'all. You know, I just wounded an animal and I needed to dispatch it. Luckily, I had a gun in my in my vehicle because I always carry more than one or two guns in my vehicle. I went up to my vehicle, loaded it, took it down there and dispatched the animal. Clean. Uh, so, pay attention to what you use to clean your your. This is a foam. This product is a foam. <clears throat> you spray it in your bore, you spray it in your action to your guns. It's a blue in color. When it turns white, it's supposed to be clean. Ah. No harsh clunk, no harsh scrubbing, removes copper and powder efficiently uh, in assemblies I do not and I highly highly do not recommend that product uh, now this was two years ago I still have it see how much dust is on this thing I'm saying been on the top of my gun cleaning table here <clears throat> I don't use it. What I do use, let me get the can out. What I do use is a military grade gun cleaner. You can get it at any Army surplus store that sells Army surplus. <laughs> it's military grade. It comes from the military. It's rifle bore cleaner, and let me tell y'all, <clears throat> I don't recommend you putting in on a real nice gun like the Kimber, like this Kimber here. Go get you some hoppies or something like that to put on Kimber because it will take that karaoke off. Uh, that paint, this, this stuff's bad. It's awesome. <laughs> <coughs> I'll show y'all. Can y'all read that? Try not to get the glare. Poison. It is poison. I use this to clean all my filings off of it, my bores, all my actions, <clears throat> will not gum up anything. <clears throat> so, 
so it's just a little gun talk I don't want the video to be hoot too long but <laughs> if you carry plastic holsters like these soft holsters like you know these neoprenes holsters uh, hip holsters thigh holsters shoulder holsters <coughs> you're gonna get dirt in them <laughs> you're gonna get lint in them you're gonna get moisture in them uh, I use this and I also use a 3M product it's got Teflon in it for all my action on all my guns this right here I have found since it's silicone based lubricant <clears throat> when you get moisture in it like sweat it's raining <clears throat> whatever moisture that silicone will protect your guns, your springs, your inner parts, or your, or your firing pins. It will keep the rust off of them. <clears throat> and they will continue to look as good as these guns right here I have. This gun right here is like 30 something years old. It's a P94. <clears throat> same age about 25 years old this gun I've had for 10-15 years <clears throat> this gun right here I've shot it three times it needs to be clean I carry it every day <clears throat> okay I'm about to clean it Y'all can see down in that bore, in that deal right there, how dirty that is. See that sand and stuff inside there? Dirt. And that's with the magazine in it, guys. So, you see right there on the side, on that slide right there? That's dirt, that's sweat, that's body. I mean, so I highly, 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 highly recommend y'all to use a great bore cleaner. Don't use that foam stuff. That, that foam, I don't care what kind of foam it is. <clears throat> it was new, it came out, it, it came highly recommended to me. I highly disrecommend it to anybody. Uh, the only way, if you do use it and you have good results out of it, maybe you do something different. But uh, I shoot a lot, so you gotta have good cleaners to uh, clean your products. That's anything. It's so like you're just gonna go down and got a brand new vehicle and start using that crappy Golden State oil from a uh, convenience store. Do all your oil changes because it's 97 cents a quart instead of spending four or five dollars on pins, oil, Valvoline, Castro, Quaker State, or you know, run diesel oil like I do in my truck because it's a diesel Rochelle. You ain't gonna go buy that cheap stuff. I know you say oil's oil, but it's not really oil, you know. <clears throat> oil's not oil, you know. There's a lot of additives that goes in there, so. <clears throat> Remember, a good cleaner, good board cleaner, a good oil, synthetic oil, uh, silicone-based oil, or, uh, uh, Teflon. I like using Teflon too. Uh, Teflon and silicone it uh, sheds the water, keeps your products old and clean. Remember, like, share, and comment. 
God bless you. Keep it off of you. And peace.